Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be looking into the latest rumor about who the next doctor is going to be. So yeah, it's a uh, it's definitely interesting who they have pegged. But yeah, let's hop straight into this article and see what they're saying. So new Doctor Who is a forgotten 90 star. Doctor Who is currently on the search for its newest Time Lord. While that search has currently thrown around some big uh, name actors, a forgotten 90 star seems to now be in the front running via a television insider that spoke to the mirror. Now, I would just like to point out the mirror, probably not the best source. Um, now, they have got a lot of stuff right in the past, but they are essentially a UK tabloid. So I always come what takes what well, what comes out of this with a pinch of salt. But they do seem to have spoken to someone in the know. So, yeah, let, let's see what they claim. So they claim that the show is now aiming for a Marvel type makeover. The idea behind that is to allow the Doctor Who show to spawn a multitude of additional projects that are related to the show. The first step in bringing a new level of the show is adding Hollywood star Hugh Grant to the mix. So, yeah, like, don't get me wrong. Hugh Grant is a good actor. I definitely like him in a lot more of his more recent stuff uh, since he moved out to kind of rom-com 90s movies. But yeah, like he is a good actor, but don't get me wrong, like he, he has some some big, big boots to fill here. Like very, very big boots, like some great actors on this stage. Now, I first got introduced to Doctor Who as a kid. So the BBC used to rerun uh, Daleks Invasion of Earth and Doctor Who and the Daleks with actor Peter Cushing. Um, and that was my first introduction as a small child to Doctor Who. Uh, and then obviously, as soon as I found out that it was being reboot, rebooted in 2005, I tuned in for the first episode with Christopher Eccleston. And honestly, I, I was, I've been watching it since. Like I watched all of Christopher Eccleston's, uh, all of David Tennant's, all of Matt Smith's and all of Peter Capaldi's. Now, I did watch a bit of Jodie Whittaker's and I'll be honest, I kind of stopped watching. I, I just kind of lost interest in the franchise of itself and the stories that they were telling just weren't appealing anymore. Now, but that does not take away from any of this. I am still a massive, massive Doctor Who fan. Um, I may try give the Jodie Whittaker stuff another go. I don't know if I can get through it, but I will definitely be tuning in again as Russell T. Davis is taking back over. Now, for those of you who don't know, Russell T. T. Davis is the person who originally rebooted it with Christopher Eccleston. So he brought this show back and yeah, he did great, great things. As I said, like I, I tuned in 2005, watched it ever since, like been watching it essentially growing up. Like I was, what, 2005, I was 13, I think. So like, yeah, I, I've been watching this for many, many, many years. So I do have high hopes that Russell T. Davis knows what he's doing. He knows the brand. He knows how to do it. He is a great, great showrunner. But let's see what else is said in this article. So Doctor Who has been suffering from bad ratings for quite some time. Yeah, as I said, even a massive hardcore Doctor Who fan like myself tuned out when Jodie Whittaker started being the Doctor. It just the stories just were not engaging. Uh, leaving showrunner Russell T. Davis to take back control. Davis was chiefly responsible for the show's revival in 2005, which then became a cultural phenomenon. However, after Davis's exit. The series in 2009, things began to turn from bad to worse. So yeah, that was when Stephen Moffat, I believe, took over. Uh, don't get me wrong, he did some good stuff. Like it, There were definitely good shows, but you could see the decline from the earlier episodes. So 2005 to 2009, or peak Doctor, it's, it's brilliant. When Stephen Moffat took over, still good, but nowhere near what it was like on the Russell T. Davis. Uh, now, Davis has, ta has been tasked with arguably replicating his success for the 60th anniversary of the show in 2003. Hugh Grant might have been more well-known during his roles in the 90s, but he is still a well-known star. One of his most recent roles was that of Fletcher in the Guy Ritchie film, The Gentleman. Haven't watched that yet, but I have heard good things. Uh, he was fantastic in that movie, according to The Insider. Uh, he offers many attributes, great actor, British award-winning, Hollywood A-lister, and excellent at uh, comedy. Uh, conversations are in progression. So, yeah, it'd be interesting to see Hugh Grant as the next Doctor. I, I don't know how I feel about it, 
but I am always willing to give something a chance. So if you Grant did end up in this role, I would watch it. I would give it a go. And then I would obviously review it and see where we go from there. But I would keep, I'd be kept open mind with it. Uh, while this information comes from an insider who then revealed this to the mirror, it could also be high speculation due to how many rumored Time Lords have been thrown out. Yeah, so it kind of goes on to talk about there have been a lot and a lot of rumors about who the next Doctor is going to be, especially on Reddit. A lot of people talking there. But the mirror is basically saying that they have got this information from a trusted insider and not just a Reddit post. So, yeah, it'd be interesting to see where that would kind of go. And as well as the Marvel ele element, I, I, obviously I, they want to try do some spin-off stuff. Like they did have a spin-off with Torchwood. Uh, I did actually enjoy watching that. That was actually kind of fun to watch. Shame it kind of got cut short. But yeah, like that was a good spin-off. But if they're looking to do a Marvel approach to this, um, yeah, I'd, I'd be interested to see what they come up with and what they bring off with it. Now, it, this article does go on to say, obviously, current showrunner uh, Chris Chinball and Time Lord Jodie Whittaker are going to be wrapping up their show, uh, leaving Russell Davis to usher in his apparent newly designed universe. While Doctor Who has been on air since 1963, staggering amount of episodes now obviously sadly some are lost to time they got uh, recorded over and just lost in the bbc archive so there's some episodes we'll just never see and um, yeah they're just gone to history essentially uh, due to mismanagement on the bbc's part but again what we have is still good so it was clearly running into trouble the 2005 revival was needed when people stopped caring so much about the show that seems to be the cast for the show as of right now as well. It may just be time to shake things up once again. Hugh Grant would be the perfect person to bring forth this shake-up. While it has been heavily rumoured to be a bunch of other names as well, Grant might be the one that has the most success in terms of Hollywood films and otherwise. Davis might have to do something drastic to make sure the series doesn't go through another era of subpar ratings. Yeah, now, honestly, I think with Davis... Uh, show running this he will pull it back and he will do great things with it like as i said he basically brought it back with christopher eccleson and yeah the, the, the obviously christopher eccleson was only in it for one season that one season was brilliant then david tennant who was just a phenomenal doctor he was great uh, he did great great things um honestly probably one of my favorite doctors uh david tennant was matt smith did a great job capaldi a little bit more serious, but had like obviously the kooky element there to it. Um, I did enjoy his time on uh, on Doctor Who, but probably nowhere near uh, Eccleston Smith and Dave and uh, David Tennant. But yeah, I'd like to hear your opinions on this. Who do you think should be the next Doctor? Do you think Hugh Grant can pull it off? Do you think he'll be a good Doctor? Um, how do you feel about uh, Russell T Davis coming back? Do you think he will do a great job on this? Like I, I think he will, but I want to know what you think. Drop a comment down below. Tell me know how you think Hugh Grant would be as the next Doctor. Let me know if you think Davis is going to handle this well. And yeah, don't forget to hit that like button, the subscribe button, and hit that bell for notifications. Helps the channel out immensely. Catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.